are looking at something very rare in the CPIC, bricks made of fired clay. Engineering student Jonathan Ho has an encounter with one of the traditional uses of clay, a clay man from the highlands of PNG who has a mask made of clay. At the Ilahita Community Centre our attention turns to something much more pragmatic. Can the clay of Ilahita be used to make bricks for building? We wanted to see if bricks can be made directly from in situ excavated clay. If possible, this will make brick making much easier. Unfortunately, the natural flaws in the clay make the blocks fragile, so we return to more traditional lines. Clay excavated from the building site is transported a short distance to a stockpile where it will be used for brick making and pottery trials. Some villagers take the initiative to knead and hand form blocks of clay. To make bricks of a uniform size, a mould is made from wood. Having only a book to guide them, the students and villagers experiment with moulding bricks. Meticulous effort goes into forming the first regular blocks. Because there is no sand or waste oil to line the mould, creating the blocks is difficult. A new mould to make three bricks is tried. After air drying for some days, a field kiln is constructed, consisting of around 30 air dried blocks stacked to form a fire box which is then smothered with soil. A slow fire is set in the kiln and kept alight for around three days as the clay bricks are dried. After three days, the fire is stoked up to provide a hotter temperature to vitrify the clay into strong bricks. Keeping the fire going strongly and repairing cracks in the kiln are skills yet to be mastered. After about one week of firing and another week to cool down, the clay cover is removed. Most of the bricks are soft and crack easily, but some that were near the fire are stronger. There is hope, but a much hotter fire is needed. Pottery is a lost skill in Ilahita. A woman who recently came to the village from another area taught some pottery skills to local women and the students. The finished pots were baked on an open fire. Some were successful, others cracked. Tim was keen to try to make fired clay water filters. Rice husks were mixed in some clay to make a pot. The resultant pot was able to turn turbid water into clear. <laughs>